you continue to venture into the Christmas season, I encourage you to keep your hearts and your minds centered around the reason as to why we celebrate Christmas. Last week, I shared with you one of my favorite names for Jesus around Christmas, and it is Emmanuel, God with us. So I encourage you to go and watch that video. And this week, I want to share a name that is possibly similar to what I shared last week. But it's a name that I didn't really think of until a few years ago that has now become one of my favorites. And it is in the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 14. And it says this, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And so as we continue to ask this question of who is Jesus, especially around Christmas, we not just looked at Emmanuel, which is interpreted God with us, but here in John chapter 1 and verse 14, we see another name for him that is related to that. And it's the word made flesh. And you may ask, what does this mean? Well, we go back in the beginning to John's gospel and he illuminates this. He says, in the beginning was the word. He refers to Jesus Christ as the word. And he says, the word was with God and the word was God. And he speaks about the internality of Jesus Christ. Let me put it to you in short, because Jesus puts it to us in short. Jesus says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. So I want to say it like this. If you have seen Jesus, you have seen God, because everything that God is has been manifested through Jesus Christ. He is the word that made, was made flesh. God manifested himself as Jesus Christ, not just to live with us, but to live in us. And so what does that mean for you and I this Christmas? Well, as we go about the possible hustle and bustle of Christmas, as we keep Jesus as the reason for the season, Jesus has reminded us that those that believe in him shall do great works, shall see great works, but even so shall go on to do greater works. Through our words and our actions, the world can know of Jesus Christ. And so as you go about this week, may you make manifest who Jesus is through your words and through your actions because he is the word that was made flesh who dwelt among us and because of him we can know the father and through our words and our actions people can know who Jesus is and more importantly who God is.